Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. I am actually going somewhere today. Um, where am I going? I'm going to a wedding and um, it's my first wedding in so long and I just wanted to do a get ready with me and see how flawless my makeup is gonna be. Um, the outfit that I'll be wearing, I'm gonna show you guys towards the ending of the video. And today I'm gonna be focusing on a more neutral makeup because the dress is blue and silver accessories. So I don't really wanna do a lot on my face. Um, and then, you know, my wig, I'm gonna be styling that. I'm gonna show you guys everything. So let's get into this video right now. It's crazy because I have so many eyeshadow palettes to choose from. It's always a hard decision, but I think I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette um, because this palette does have a lot of browns that I can work with. This is how it's looking. It's very messy. And I might use this palette just for um, just for this shimmery shade if I really need to. I'm going to be tackling my crease first. Alright, so this is how I do it. I'm going to be taking the burnt orange color and I'm just going to be going into my crease and just blending it out, making sure that the crease has something to work with. So it looks like this, you know, the crease is just, you know, you're just warming up the crease a little, making sure that there is a transition color, a nice little neutral base color to work with. And because I have hooded eyes, I don't have as much crease space to work with. So I'm going to bring that color as far up as I can to my eyebrows. <sighs> For the next step, I'm going to be taking the shade Rustic from the um, Soft Glam Palette. So focus it on the eye part and then you're going to kind of drag that out into the edge of your eye like that. If you guys see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to kind of blend out that edge. And as you see, it looks like really blurred. It looks like a blurred out eyeliner, which is kind of the what we're going for. And then we're going to follow that into the crease, kind of like so. You want it to look like a faux um, cut crease. And I don't even know how to really explain it. So you want it to kind of look like that. I'm gonna bring it up. And then you're gonna take that brush and blend it out again. And if you need to add a little bit more to the bottom part so it kind of connects at the end, you gotta do that. You guys are gonna get the picture when it all comes together, but this is the idea I am going for, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye, and I'll show you guys how it looks together. I hope you get, you kinda see the vision. It does look a little bit messy right now, but now, the key thing that I'm gonna do, I was contemplating if I should do a cut crease or like whatever, but I do think because of my hooded eyes, this will help a lot. So we're gonna be taking the same concealer from before, I'm taking the same brush that I used to, to carve out my brows and I'm going to dip into that concealer and watch as I do this. It's going to make the color pop that I'm going to put down. So I'm going to carve it out. So it looks like this and what I'm going to do is get a flat brush. I'm taking that same festival palette from before and I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be mixing Pure Bliss and Euphoria together. Now these colors I think will show up better with your finger, but because I have nails, it's going to be hard for me. So yeah, this is how it looks and it will definitely look a little bit better when you add your lashes and everything. I hope you guys kind of get the vibe I'm going for. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera. I'll get back to you guys when I have my lashes on and everything because lashes take a long time. But I'll let you guys know what lashes I'm going to be putting on and all that good stuff. I don't know what brand this is, but this is the eyeliner that I use and it's called Dragon Liner. It's black, as you can see. You can use any liquid liner. I'm going to be using this Too Faced mascara to do my lashes because I'm about to put on some falsies. I mean, where are you going without them? Unless your lashes look like Jackie Ina's, you need to put on some falsies, okay? Okay, guys, so I applied some lashes. It's this one right here. Y'all, these lashes 
are so bomb so it's really fluffy and it's really seamless it doesn't even look like a lot it looks like really glam neutral um it looks like very natural glam lashes it's not too crazy and um i switched to those because i really wanted to show off the eyes but then have a little bit of like you know going this foundation it's the nyx stay matte but not flat foundation in the shade deep golden and this foundation is just amazing i know a lot of people don't they sleep on nyx but like guys wake up <laughs> wake up because nyx is actually beast it really is a beast this brush is from sephora um it's the dual ended one with the concealer and the foundation and you just tap it in Okay, now that my foundation is done, as you guys can see, it's pretty good. I got it in the summer, but you know, if it ain't broke, why fix it? I'm gonna be taking the same concealer that I've been using all along. Okay, so these are all the places that I place my concealer because I want them to really pop or really be brightened, so key. And then I'm gonna be taking that same flat brush from before that was dirty and I'm just gonna blend it in ever so lightly uh, this brush is really to focus it under my eyes because I don't want to go in with a really big brush underneath my eye and I'm going to kind of go underneath the eyeshadow because I don't want to blend the colors together and then the key is to take your foundation brush and just continue blending out the edges so as you guys can see as soon as I start dabbing it like is blending out perfect it's all up from here all you need to do is bake under your eyes or just set under your eyes for people who actually don't like baking like myself i'm going in with that translucent powder from before on a flat brush like this and i'm just gonna press it in okay now while the powder is just sitting there i'm gonna be taking this right here it is the l'oreal true match powder and it's in the shade w7 and i'm gonna just take a regular brush and go around the parts of my face that actually did not get powder just to set it because when i go in with bronzer i don't want it to be splotchy and just stick to one side if you guys get what i'm saying I don't like to contour a lot, but I do love to bronze, and I typically use this Morphe bronzer in the shade Phenom. And it looks like this, if you were wondering. And I just take an angled brush, like so, and look at how bronzy I look. Now, if I feel like I apply too much, I will go in with my foundation brush and just kind of fix it up, but you guys get the idea. So what I'm gonna do now is take a blush. This is the Ciate Blush in Dusk, and it's so pretty, it looks like this. And I'm just gonna take that and just put it where blushes typically go. Put it on my cheek and a little bit on my nose, so I just do that. Um, blush typically disappears so quickly unless it's cream so I mean I as you guys can see I'm kind of looking very much clownish right now but blush kind of like brings life back into your face if you guys get what I'm saying now my favorite part is highlighter and I'm taking the Lori Giller Gilded Honey highlighter that's been broken up this formula is so soft you have to be careful it's so broken and crumbled, but I'm still going to use her. My eyebrows got really messy with all the powders and everything, so I'm going to go over it with the NYX Control Brow Freak Gel to see if I could just pop the color out and get rid of the powder. All right, my brows are still looking great, still standing up, period. Okay, now we're going to go underneath the eyes because don't think I forgot that, okay? You got to finish up the eyes. Um, so I'm going to take that very small brush that I've been using. And I'm just going to go with a very neutral brown color, nothing too crazy. Alright, so, so far this is how my face is looking. The only thing that I have not done is put on a proper lip gloss, lipstick idea. And I have not set my face yet, so I'm going to actually set my face, put my lip gloss, lipstick and lip gloss on, and then I'll come right back. This is how my makeup looks at the end. Um, pretty nice, pretty nice. It's giving very much glowy, um, soft glam. This is my eyes.
So next is my hair and I was really debating of two styles, either going like slick back with it or doing like some crimps with the middle part. So I think I've decided on doing crimps. So I'm going to quickly um, get my hair done and then I'm going to come back and show you guys how it looks. Hey guys, so I've officially crimped my hair. It's not the best because I was rushing, but it's giving what needs to be given. Um, so the next step really, um, this is how the hair looks by the way. Um, it's I will be linking the hair details um, in the icon above and in the description box below if you guys are concerned on what company and what hair I'm wearing. But next I'm going to apply my dress. Apply my dress. Apply my dress. Apply. Okay. Next, I'm going to put on my dress and my jewelry, everything all together. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks. And I'm about to go and have some fun and cut up. Okay. Before I move on, I have to show you guys what fragrance I'm wearing because this is a part of the look. Okay. So this is the brand Dossier. And um, I received this in the mail right before I filmed this video. So I just wanted to tell you guys about it. So this scent is called Floral Honeysuckle and it's inspired by the scent Gucci Bloom. If you guys know what that is, then God bless you because that scent is immaculate. So it comes in this it comes in this little box and this is essentially how it looks. Um, so it's like iconic scents, like designer quality and it's for affordable prices, y'all. And when I tell you my sister has Gucci, Gucci Bloom right now. I can show you guys. Um, it smells just like Gucci Bloom. It's ridiculous. I just received it. I'm so excited. I've sprayed it like maybe four times. I'm trying to preserve this. But Floral Honeysuckle is top tier. Now, if you go to their website, you're going to find a whole bunch of um, scents that are like designer scents that are very affordable y'all it's worth every freaking penny um i highly recommend this check out their website because i'm wearing this scent all summer all summer and the fact that it smells really 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 close to gucci boom yeah they're doing something great so i just wanted to let you guys know what scent i will be wearing because this is a get ready with me so you gotta smell good too guys i'm gonna i'm gonna insert a video of how my outfit looks um in this video because it's kind of hard to get the angle in my room but this dress is from fashion nova it's gonna be why are you blurry like just let me know okay yeah my outfit is gonna be my fashion nova video haul which will be up before this um and i will be inserting a little clip of how my dress looks my entire fit your girl is ready to go um thank you so much for watching so far if you guys liked it remember to like this video subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you guys later